First off, it's Charles J. That just in case you ain't heard of me, they told me it was too late. But I promise that I'll be the first to speak. Most of these rappers, they fake. But you can't have your way to St. Burke here. Everybody said it won't be. Till they see smoke, then they realize they'd rather have turkey me. What it do, what it do, it's 903 Box, and I'm your host, Charles J. Say, man, shout out to my audience, shout out to those that rocking with me. Yo, we back in the kitchen, there's a whole lot of goddamn sauce in this pot, man. Let's get to the shot. Let's get to the shot. Uh, first and foremost, um, um, I gotta be honest, um, Yesterday I was a little overwhelmed um, by a lot of shit. Um, that one deep shit I said I be in my own where I don't want to get on nobody panels. I gotta get out of that. Um, nah, 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 nah. Um, we in this shit together. We cry together. Said we cry. Together, we're not the only people in the world who goes through ups. Yeah, we ain't the only people, and we cry together, and we ride together, we die together. Uh, we in this shit together. Um, now nah, we like family in this motherfucker. Um, you motherfuckers damn near made me cry. I'm just saying. <laughs> You motherfuckers damn near, uh, even my wife was like, damn, baby, these coming. You got to come back. And she got on my ass. Uh, baby, you can't let this shit go. You do you see the, like, I'm just going to say, um, I wasn't expecting it. Um, I knew that uh, it's a couple motherfuckers fuck with this sauce, but I appreciate you, bro. I appreciate you. It was some comments from brothers I, I hadn't even heard. I, I just, I appreciate it. I appreciate it, and... It just woke me up. It made me realize, bro, uh, I can't be selfish. I started this motherfucking channel. Uh, then none of you motherfuckers asked me to start this shit, but I started it. Um, um, I can't walk away from it. Um, now, we must proceed. Uh, the fight must keep going, bro. Um, we all get discouraged. Uh, yes, it's a lot of banana peels. I slip on them all the time, bro, but I appreciate y'all, bro. I appreciate all the comments. I don't have time to name everybody because I don't want to leave nobody out. I just appreciate y'all. Uh, you motherfuckers gave me strength. Um, hopefully I can do the same. Hopefully we can strengthen each other. Um, nah, bro, you can't be pro-black and be one deep. Even though it's hard for me to trust a black man, and I know... Uh, it just, we just jealous of each other. We just sick with hate for ourselves. So I can't let that, uh, stop me from my mission. I can't let it stop me from what my goal is to do. Um, we can't stop, bro. We can't stop. Um, we gonna keep going, bro. We gonna keep going. Uh, yeah, I had a moment. <laughs> so, but I realized this shit bigger than me. This shit, this shit is bigger than me. Um, yeah, we in this shit together. I appreciate y'all. Uh, yeah, um, that shit really meant a lot, bro. That shit really meant a lot. Um, it meant a lot, bro. So I'm back. Uh, <laughs> I ain't even take a day off. I had to come back, bro. It was too much love in them comment section. I just, I had to come back to you, motherfuckers, bro, and just. You know, just spread the love and just spread a little sauce. You know, uh, this sauce will forever remain. I just, I just must, I just must acknowledge that. Um, yeah, we need each other. I need you, motherfuckers, like you need me. That's our problem as black people. We get to seeing a bunch of fake shit, and we just want to be one deep, and we just don't want to fuck with nobody. Nah, we need each other, bro. So for those that fuck with me, I appreciate you. I need you, motherfuckers, like you need me. Uh, we strengthen each other, and it is strength in numbers. You can't conquer the world by yourself, bro. You can't build nothing by yourself. It takes a community. It takes um, 
It takes a community, bro. Um, so, I'm back. <laughs> I'm back like I never motherfucking left. Listen, a uh, lot of shit. A lot of shit. Um, Ryan has definitely replaced uh, Fatback Fury as the Dauphine of boxing. And I'm going to get to that shit, but I got some more shit. Um, I don't know. Um, I, I, I talk a lot of shit about Tank fans, and I do it for a reason. Because you motherfuckers, you only get mad when we say Devin and Shakur can beat them. I hear a lot of people saying Loma can beat Tank. Uh, you motherfuckers quiet. Now it's just a great fight. I'll tell you, boy, y'all respect that white boy. So y'all respect this shit out the Matrix. Uh, you motherfuckers respect Loma. I'm going to tell you, and Tank do too. I'm just going to say, Tank respect Loma. He really do. I I guarantee you when he's prepped, he's going to either fight Loma or Isaac Cruz or Loma and then Isaac Cruz. Them the next two fights. Um, but uh, Tank, Tank respect uh, Loma. And I'm going to say this right here. Um... Tank should fight Loma exactly like he fought Frank. Because Tank uh, Loma has a weakness. He can't fight on the back foot. Everybody know it. If you know boxing, you Loma cannot fight on the back foot. He's not a good counterpuncher. He's offensive. Kind of similar to Pacquiao, but much different style. Pacquiao wasn't no fucking counterpuncher like that. When he's offensive, he's offensive. When he's defensive, he's defensive. That's what Loma is. When he's throwing his combinations, you can catch him in between that shit. And when you're offensive, he covers up, he puts up the high guard. He don't punch in between your shots. So, and also, um, a lot of people try to act like Shakur is scared of punches. Loma do not like punches. He don't like it. He's very uncomfortable uh, with punches. If Tank was to walk his ass down like he did Frank, um, we might see a reverse switch. Um, they might stop the fight. Just like how uh, Nicholas Walters and them, and they wouldn't come out the corner. Loma might not come out the corner. If Tank walk his ass down with no respect, hitting him with big shit, uh, old Papa Chanko, <laughs> I'm telling you, the motherfucker's going to stop that fight. And they're going to say Loma was too old and he too little for these dudes. And uh, it's going to be a lot of other shit. And, and Tank can really send him into retirement if he don't respect him. But I don't think that's the way that fight would go. Tank gonna respect Loma. He gonna try to box with him. And he may walk him down later rounds and he may stop Loma. A part of me think that Tank ain't gonna stop Loma. I don't think he gonna be too aggressive. I just don't think, and it's and I'm gonna tell you something what's crazy. It's gonna be some times in this fight where you see Loma walk Tank down. Mark my words. It's gonna be times in this fight where Loma walk. Loma ain't near as strong as Frank Martin. Frank Martin was stronger than Tank. He didn't fight like it. Lama gonna walk Tank down at time. Mark my motherfucking words. What you, what I'm saying. It's gonna be times in that fight where Lama's coming forward, because Lama is his best when he's coming forward. He's gonna, he's gonna come forward. Uh, he gonna have good moments. Tank might stop him, but I see that fight going to decision. I see, I see that fight going to decision in a weird way. I'm not saying that like Tank going to just not step on the gas and he going to show him too much respect, but he's definitely going to show Loma respect. He's going to show him a certain... Tank respects Loma's skills like most fighters do. Um, it could be a close fight. This fight, depending on how Tank fight, it all depends on Tank. This could be a close and competitive fight. If he box with Loma, Loma going to have great moments. Uh, I promise you, I guarantee it. I just know it. Tank is not. Tank has never been that aggressive the way he fought Frank. There was no fight Tank has ever had where he was that aggressive. Tank in the first round, no fill out round, walked Frank ass down. Walked his ass down the entire fight. No respect. By the third round, he was walking uh, Tank uh, Frank down with no hands, with, with his hands down. No respect. He going to respect uh, Loma. Mark my words, he's going to respect him. It ain't no diss. I just know it. He's going to respect him. He's going to respect him. He ain't going to say at the press conference, this is my house, like he did with Frank. Like, you know, <laughs> you know, he look like Samuel Jackson and Jago when he got <laughs> It's my shit. You ain't never heard Tank say that to none of his opponents. But he let Frank know, bro, I'm the H-N-I-C. 
uh, he going to respect Loma. I just feel it. I know it. He's going to respect him. And with Loma just having good moments, I don't think Loma beats Tank. Not at all. That is not a prediction at all. But it's going to be competitive, and it may be a closer fight than you think. Um, and all Loma got to do is have good moments. And we're going to say he the shit, and he's a first ballot Hall of Famer. He's the shit. Once again, he's uh, whooped on a younger fighter, and he's done this, and he just he just done pulled another excellent performance out of his bag. It's going to be a lot of bragging about him. He's not going to win the fight, but he's going to put up a good enough showing where fans just brag about him, and the loss won't matter. Just like the previously three losses never mattered. Um, I got to say this, and I should have said it in my post-fight. I don't respect Frank. Um, Tank do monkey shit, but inside that ring, I respect him. Oh, I respect him. Inside that ring, I respect Tank. I don't respect him outside the ring. I don't respect Frank, though. I lost respect for him. I just want to say this, bro. Um, Frank, you talk too tough to back up the way you did, bro. And I bet Earl Spence lost respect for him. I just, I, I feel that way, bro. Um, it's a lot of people that may say he was too green. He wasn't as skilled as Tank and all this and that. And Tank was just a better man. Frank, a part of you folded. It's a part of you that really folded. You didn't want it bad enough. Uh, it was a point in that fight where you just didn't want to get hit no more. You was beat way before that knockdown. In the fifth round, Frank was beat. In the in the third round, the fight was over. In the third round, I knew this fight was over with. Frank, you couldn't keep him out. Let me say this. This is why I lost respect for Frank. Let's just say you just couldn't keep Tank up off you. You realize he's a better boxer, and you can't keep him off you. And he's got power, and you really don't want to feel that shit. It's the warrior in you. When you ain't got nothing else, you must fight. When skills ain't working, when 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 your little footwork and them little angles you used to do on them other slow foot fighters worked, that shit worked on other fighters, and you seen that shit didn't work, you couldn't even pivot out the corner, and you seen that shit wasn't working, you should have fought. Because your only chance was to hurt Tank. I said that before the fight. Your only chance in this fight was to hurt Tank. You didn't try to hurt him. <coughs> <coughs> You threw some you threw some get off me type punches. You were just trying to get him up off you. You were trying to knock his ass out. Because after you felt Tank's power, you no longer want and see I listen to everything a fighter. You said run up and I'ma hit you with that shit. Your whole prediction was if Tank if Tank get ignorant, you gonna stop him. He got ignorant in the first round, bro. Walked your ass down. Walked your ass down. Bro, it was a point in that fight where you was just going from corner to corner. He was backing you from corner to fucking corner. You never said, okay, let's just fight. That's all I got left. I got to hurt him. You didn't do it. You landed good shots here and there, but you, you, didn't, you didn't go for the kill. That was your only shot. That was your only shot. You was too worried about what was coming back. You folded. And you are not who you said you was during the build up of the press con. You talked all that tough shit. You ain't you ain't that, bro. You are not that. Don't get me wrong, bro. Um, a lot of people say that Artem fight it was a close fight and this and that. What I respected is when you, it was probably the ninth round. I don't remember what round, but when you turned up on him. Every fight I've watched Frank Martin turn up. When he started getting hit too much and he just get, because he always get hit flush and just most of his fights. But I've always watched him turn up. You never turned up on Tank. There was no point in that fight where you ever turned up. You didn't turn up. You turned up on Artem and that's what you it took for you to beat him and you end up dropping him. That was the key to you winning that fight. You wouldn't have won that fight if you never turned up. You, you didn't want to turn up on Tank. I, and you know what? It leads me to say you... You was intimidated before the fight. You was intimidated before the fight. Um, Tank took your heart. He took your soul from. He took your heart. He took that shit. 
I'm telling you, that shit look like an aggravated robbery. I'm, I'm, I'm just telling I'm Frank, you folded. I just had to say it. I had to make it very motherfucking clear. You folded. I knew you didn't have a high ring IQ, bro, but when it got down to it, you didn't want none of that smoke. In the third round, you was you was looking for a way out. You got into survival mode. But anyway, I just had to point that out. Um, Devin Haney uh, seems to be and uh, pretty much uh, is the most hated fighter in boxing. And fans seem to think it's just a Devin thing. It's just something about Devin that fans hate. No, it's a black thing. He just, it's just that Devin right now is the most hated black fight. It's only one at a time. Just like it can only be one black star at a time, one black face of boxing at a time. It can only be one black fighter that's hated more than others at a time. Uh, and right now they picking Devin. Uh, soon it's going to be another black fighter that's the most hated. It's always going to be a black fighter. So Devin is the most hated. But I got to say this. Uh, Shakur Stevenson is the most unappreciated. Outside of Bud Crawford, because Bud Crawford still ain't appreciated. Uh, Shakur is the most unappreciated. Uh, I think everybody in boxing know. I think 90% of all fans know Shakur is a better fighter than uh, Loma. And Shakur is a tougher fight for Tank than Loma. But why fans are not demanding it? Fans cool with this Loma shit. But Shakur was supposed to get the Loma fight way before. T it, it, it is crazy how the tables have turned. Um, Shakur is the most unappreciated fighter in boxing. One performance against Edwin De Los Santos, and everybody just, you, nobody want to see him fight no more. Nobody care who he fight. I tell you this, uh, that Artem motherfucker is way fucking better than a Steve Claggett. This motherfucker T.O. running around this bitch talking all this shit and you finna fight a goddamn Steve fucking Claggett. Seven losses. After coming off a, a controversial fight where you couldn't cut off the ring on Jermaine, Jermaine Ortiz, I boxed you, bro. And motherfuckers is acting like that shit didn't happen. I'm telling you, between Ryan, uh, Fatback Fury, uh, T.O., uh, them, them by my top three, bro, I, that I can't stand. I can't stand T.O. Jr. or Sr. You know, but it's amazing. Bill Haney is more hated than T.O. Sr. T.O. Sr. is one of the most. <laughs> this, it, it's just amazing to me. Um, Shakir is the most unappreciated fighter because I say it all the time. Low-key, he the best. Low-key, Shakir is the best thing in boxing. Uh. Terrence Crawford, I got him number one pound for pound. But I, I'm just saying, bro, um, Terrence Crawford get hit with flush shit sometimes. We don't never see that from Shakur. Terrence Crawford just a killer, though. It's dangerous to hit him with big shit because he going to come back and fuck you up. That's the difference. Uh, Bud is a certified killer. But his defense ain't fucking with Shakur. There is nobody's defense in boxing that's fucking with. I trust defense over anything. Even when I was um, a diehard cowboy, I've always, in any sport, I've trust defense. That's why I love Ron Artest and I love certain defensive fights. I've always trusted defense over offense. I've always trusted defensive fighters more than offensive fighters. I, I think Mike Tyson was the shit, but Pernell Whitaker was 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 most spectacular to me. Um, that's just me. Um, that's why I'm such a big Mike McCallum fan. Mike McCallum had very underrated defense. Very fucking under. I think Mike McCallum is a top five most underrated fighter of all time. And that motherfucker, that motherfucker stopped uh, Julian Jackson when that motherfucker was was destroying everybody. And Mike McCallum had a granite chin. I don't was Mike McCallum ever even dropped. Oh, I think Roy Jones might have dropped him, but he was past it. Roy Jones might have dropped him. I don't even think he was ever dropped. Um he stopped Donald Curry. Donald Curry was a monster. Uh, Mike McCallum is definitely one of my top five most underrated fighters of all time. One of my favorite fighters. But um I've always trust defense. I've always trust defense over here. Uh, Winky Wright, defense was underrated, but he started trying to be a slugger and fight. And, he, you know, he took unnecessary shots at times. But anyway, um, I just trust defense more. Um, Tank will have to hurt uh, Shakur to beat him. 
There is no Tank is very skilled. There's no way you can outskill Shakur, bro. There's no way you you don't you don't you don't outskill him. You have to hurt Shakur. That's Tank's only chance. You can't outskill Shakur, bro. I'm t Shakur almost a cheat code, bro. I'm that that's why I say the most unappreciated fighter in boxing at this point because everybody know that's the motherfucker uh uh tank. You beat him, that's what's gonna uh shut some shit down. But um like I said, one performance and everybody shitted on him. But T.O. done had by four suspect performance. You was dropped by Cam Bosa. I can't stop saying it. You got dropped. Sandor Martin has no power. He dropped you, bro. I don't get it. But but Devin don't have a chin. All these other fighters don't have a T.O.'s been dropped by fighters that are not even punchers, bro. It, it's weird. It's suspect. I just don't know. Um... Shakur the most unappreciated fighter in boxing, bro, because he's too good for you motherfuckers. Shakur would have made Isaac Cruz look like an amateur. I'm going to tell you something. Giovanni, low-key, uh, but he kept getting caught, though. I thought that was a closer fight than people think. Shakur would make Cruz look like food. But like I said, Tank going tank gonna to rematch him because uh, Coach Calvin wants that fight so bad, and uh, Mexican fans seem to think that's Tank's toughest fight. But I say Barrios was. Um, but anyway, um, it is what it is. Um, fans are not fighting for. And you know, I, I got to say something about you, Shakur motherfuckers. You motherfuckers show respectful. <laughs> you motherfuckers are so respectful to take. You motherfuckers had no respect for Devin. When Shakur called out Devin, that shit was the biggest shit on the internet. All Shakur fan, what Devin gonna do? Oh, Bill, what you gonna do? You motherfuckers ain't got none of that smoke for, Sh for uh, Tank. Shakur has actually uh, come out and disrespected Tank at times. You motherfucking Shakur motherfucking fans, y'all ain't got none of that smoke for Tank that you had for Devin. You motherfuckers respectful. You motherfuckers patient. You motherfuckers patient as shit. You motherfuckers can finally be patient. Y'all ain't y'all ain't putting no pressure on Tank. You Shakur fans are not putting pressure on Tank. That's why I say we 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 some choosy lovers. We pick and choose when to go hard. Um That's what I think. But um and like I said, this Artem dude is way better than Steve Claggett. But Shakur's in a lose-lose. Even if he stop Artem, it don't matter what he do, bro. Um, it's going to be hard for Shakur to get these fights. It's going to be very hard for him to get these fights because he's too good. It's, Shakur will beat the fuck out of Liam Paro. We'll beat the shit out of T.O. T.O. won't win a round. And I said that shit. T.O. Fimo Lopez don't win a round against Shakur. Box his ass and beat some up, bro. Uh, I think Shakur could go undisputed right now at 140. Um, but, like I said, the most unappreciated fighter in boxing. Hands down. And, like I said, it's selective outrage. Everybody called Devin a duck. Everybody made videos saying Devin was ducking Shakur. I don't see no video saying Tank is ducking Shakur. But anyway, and I'm not even saying Tank is ducking Shakur. He just valuing Loma over Shakur right now. <laughs> it's amazing when Devin beat Cambo. Cambosis was the shit until Devin beat him twice. When Devin beat him twice, you know what? Cambosis ain't that good. And he had a close fight with uh, what's that boy that was with Floyd? Uh, what's the boy? He was with Floyd, and he said Floyd fucked him over. I can't remember his name. God damn, I almost said it, but I can't remember. But uh, he had a tooth and nail fight with that motherfucker. But when, when Cam Bosis beat T.O., everybody thought Cam was the shit until Devin got the fight and shut him out uh, two fights in a row. Then Cam Bosis wasn't shit. Okay, but three years later, Loma stops him, and he backed Loma, and now Loma can get a tank fight off beating a Cam Bosis that's already been beat three times. It's amazing the way the tables turn. But, um... I seen Ryan, uh, he was with some white folks, and uh, it was Jimmy Butler. I don't even know what Jimmy was doing there. I guess I don't know what they was doing. I, but uh, Ryan was drinking, uh, doing weird, I'm doing dope shit. And you know, black folks, you motherfuckers act slow. Stuff. You know, uh, 
We act like we ain't never seen no Dauphine preacher or that wine old preacher. <laughs> uh, uh, Ryan is a Dauphine uh, playing Christian. <laughs> I swear to God. That motherfucker is a Dauphine playing Christian on us. Um, like I said, bro, when he when he drink, it's like when Stone Cold used to do that shit on WWE. Um, but Earl can't have fun and drink. But uh, anyway, uh, that's what Ryan is, bro. Um, uh, he played Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Um, but now every time you see him, bro, he doing dopamine antics. He drinking. He doing this. He doing that, bro. But it, it just don't matter. It just don't seem to matter. But um. I'm tell you, I think I think at this point he just as much or even more of a dauphine than Fatback Fury. Just dauphined out. But when he do it, it's just he having mental issues and we need to pray for him. But it is what it is, bro. Um Um it, It's gonna be very interesting, bro. It's going to be very interesting uh, if Ryan continue to fight. It's going to be very... And I wouldn't be surprised if T.O. fucking with that juice. I just wouldn't be surprised. Because T.O. has already uh, explained and expressed how jealous he is of black fighters. I really believe that. I think it's a lot of non-black fighters on juice. That's just me. Because, like I said, they don't look at it as cheating, bro. They think we got a cheat code with our genetics. And they jealous of that shit. Let me say, T.O. wish he had waves in his hair so bad. I swear to God. Bro, it ain't enough table phase in the world for you motherfucker. That motherfucker, he put a do-rag on this shit at night. You be seeing this shit laid down. He keep a do-rag on this shit when he wet his hair and put a do-rag on the, on the top of his shit before he go to sleep. <laughs> that motherfucker wants some sauce so bad. T.O. is begging for sauce, bro, but he don't have it. All you got, bro, is a little athleticism and power. You don't know how to box. You don't have a fucking jab. You can't cut the ring off. Your feet are suspect. You have no defense. Your chin is suck. You've been dropped two or three times, bro. No criticism. But you got the audacity to say what Devin needs to do and Tank running from you. All you got is power and, and that leaping athleticism shit. Leaping into shots with the left hook. And you throw the same combinations. You're not unpredict. You're very predictable. Struggle with boxes, bro. Um, But it is what it is, bro. Um, But you tank motherfuckers. Uh, you motherfuckers show riding with this llama shit. And you motherfuckers seem excited about this shit. I swear to God. You motherfuckers excited. When Devin fought Loma, bro, y'all said it wasn't shit. But now that Tank fighting Loma two years later, it's some exciting shit. But it is what it is. Uh, you motherfuckers going to be who you be. But, um, yeah, I had a moment yesterday, and it was y'all, bro, that definitely gave me encouragement, definitely reminded me of who the fuck I am and what I represent and what I stand for. And, uh, bro, when you choose to fight that fight, you can't stop. You cannot stop. When you choose to stand uh, up for your people, you cannot take any steps backwards. So I won't step back. Uh, I won't turn back. I won't turn away. I won't abort the mission, bro. We got to stand on this shit. Uh, hopefully more will come and stand, and we can stand beside each other uh, hand in hand, bro. Uh, you can't leave this shit, bro. You can't leave this shit, bro. Um, like I said, I don't want to be nothing like that. Like I said, he was a black Muslim uh, passing out bean pies and studying Farrakhan and them. Uh, now he, that motherfucker that went the opposite way. I swear, that motherfucker went from passing bean pies with one of them pieces on the top of his shit, and now that motherfucker hate black folk. And every time a black man fall, that's all he want to talk about it. I, you know, like, um... It's a lot of them motherfuckers. They want to prove. They want to prove Floyd broke. They want to prove uh, Tank ain't shit. They want to prove that this fighter ain't shit. Like I said, bro, I don't know any content creators that really just go at Bob. All them, all these motherfuckers. Y'all seem to respect Bob so much. Um, you motherfuckers respect Bob. Don't know nobody ever call him a crook. Don't nobody ever say that he don't produce superstars. What superstar has he produced? What superstar do he produce at top rank? Shakur supposed to be the superstar, but he don't promote him. 
don't promote them worth a shit. They put all the promotion behind Loma, but never got a dollar out of They put all the promotion, tried to make the world know him, but he not a draw. They have tried to force Lomachenko to be a draw. He's not a draw. He can go to any mall in America and they won't know him, bro. They won't take pictures with him. He's not a draw. So, y'all can keep trying to make this Tank versus Loma shit some super shit, but it's very desperate. Um, you know, another thing, um, like I said, bro, every excuse y'all came up with to protect Ryan, um, it was proved wrong. And when it was proved wrong, you motherfuckers didn't make no video. Showbiz never responded to when the New York, uh, uh, state athletic, whatever that shit is. And he failed to test with New York, never responded. But I seen this same motherfucker say, well, he didn't even get tested in New York. Well, New York got to find you get. Fans was saying that shit. Fans was on that shit. Well, it's just Vada. They crooked. Them the one. It's a setup. They tainted his shit. Okay, when he fell with New York and the state of New York and they found him uh, Osterine in the system, you motherfuckers had nothing to say about it. So, like I said, bro, it's just desperation, bro. Uh, just say you don't care if a black fighter get cheated, bro. Just, just say that. But um, I ain't letting it go. I ain't letting it go. And I just think, black fan, we must form something to where these motherfuckers can't cheat our fighters. Because they doing it. They don't respect us. They think they can get away with it. Because most most black fans will protect it. Just like they protected Fatback Fury. Most black fans to this day protect Fury and say he's just better than Wilder. That's what most black fans say. They don't say he got cheated, bro. So, until... Until we, bro, we, we must grow. We must grow. We must grow. Um, there is strength in numbers, but it's also power in our voice, bro. We must, we must grow, bro. We must, we must get respect in something. And something we involved in, bro. Um, these fighters risk their life. Uh, we must protect them, bro. We must protect them. No, they don't acknowledge us. Uh, yeah, they want to be on everybody's platform, bro. But when they cheated, bro, we must stand with them. So... Until we do that, bro, these motherfuckers going to keep dope in them. They might give Loma some dope. You just never know. So, you know, he get out there looking like he 23 again or some shit. Like he back in the Olympics with them uh, 400 and some wins. Um, You better watch these motherfuckers. But, I'm, but like I said, it's going to be hard to cheat Tank because Tank is one of the first black fighters in a long time that's loved. And I'm going to tell you some wild shit. Tank is more loved than Floyd ever was by black fans. Uh, Tank got more love from black fans than Floyd ever had. It, it's 60-40. I'd say 40% of black fans loved Floyd. 60% hated him. And I think 60 to 70% went with, with, went with Pacquiao. That's what I saw in these streets. It was at least 60 to 70% of all black fans was riding and betting on Pacquiao to beat him. And they say Floyd ran. So, it ain't been many fighters in the history that all black fans are fucked with. Most black, I'm gonna say about eighty percent of black fans fucked with uh, uh, Mike Tyson. They didn't really fuck with Holyfield. They didn't fuck with Lennox like that. They fucked with Mike Tyson uh, because of the controversy. Uh, he's so called a street dude. He robbed dudes, so he had a huge black fan base. Sugar Ray Leonard had a huge black fan base. Ali did not have a huge black fan base until he couldn't talk no more. Uh, when he was confident, uh, them black people back then, they didn't like that shit. They they preferred the Joe Lewis. Joe Lewis used to knock out white boys and put his head down. He didn't celebrate. He he put his head down and walked back over to his corner. So uh, they preferred that mentality. Ali had too much confidence, bro. Uh, a lot of black people didn't like Ali. So I would say Tyson and Sugar Ray Leonard are probably the only two, the two, the two uh, fighters... I'm going to say Sugar Ray Leonard, uh, Mike Tyson, and Tank are three of the most supported fighters by black fans in the history of boxing. Tank is more supported by black fans than Floyd was. He's not a bigger star, but he's more supported by black fans. It was a lot of people fucked with Floyd because they wanted him to lose. It ain't that with Tank as much. They want to see Tank get knockouts. So, uh, but just like Tank, you loved... You very loved by black fans. They'll turn on you tomorrow. Boy, you better not lose to Loma. 
they're going to build a statue of him and uh we're going to pray to him so i'll tell you uh they uh that's one thing we know uh they'll turn on you bro so but right now you got the juice you can do whatever you want um but you let Loma have too many moments, bro, and they get to calling robbery and shit. They'll turn on you. They'll turn on you. So it is what it is, but this motherfucker Ryan, bro. That motherfucker look like that Dauphine Deacon, bro. That motherfucker look like that Dauphine Deacon that forget the words when he, uh, I am weak, but I was mighty. Uh, hold me with thy vibe. I, and get to forgetting the words and shit. Motherfucker be drinking, uh, looking in the pastor study and shit. I'll tell you, uh, Ryan is a Dauphine Christian. I'm, I'm just telling you, motherfuckers. That motherfucker can play Christianity and play Dauphine at the same time. Because I'm going to tell you something about them PEDs. That shit really turn you into a Dauphine. And it fuck with your dick. So it's a lot of shit. That shit that shit make you more aggressive. It's a lot of shit that them, them PEDs do that they don't tell you about. That shit fuck with a lot of shit. And it make you act very Dauphine-ish. So I'm just telling you. Um, but it is what it is. Uh, Ryan going to come back and lose to a motherfucker we never heard of. Or lose to a C-level fighter. It's going to be a lot of shit. Um, but like I said to Devin, bro, I, I wish you the best. I think you do need to take a break for a while, but I would like to see you back in the gym soon. Just kind of sharpening up some shit and shit like that. Um I don't care if you fight Sandor more than not, bro. I don't care, but I definitely think you need a tune-up, maybe even two tune-ups, because I don't know how I don't know how you are. I don't know what we gonna get. So, um, but you know why I really fuck with Devin? It's a lot of reasons. But uh, unlike Frank, Frank Frank chose to fold. Frank chose to fight for survival. This is before we knew the Osterine was in the boy's system throughout that entire fight. Every time Devin got dropped, he kept walking his ass down. He kept walking his ass. Devin never stopped trying to win. It's some different shit in him, bro. Devin never fought for survival. And I'm going to tell you some real shit. If you motherfuckers just quit listening to the crowd and you really look at that fight, that fight way closer than what you think. That fight closer than what you think. Outside of them three knockdowns, Ryan never dictated the fight. Devin dictated most of that fight. Walked his ass down, pressed the fight. He walked him down. Devin walked Ryan down the entire fight. Nobody talks about that. But you know what? You know what's so fake about you motherfuckers? People want to, this is what they do instead of saying Devin got hard and he was a dog. Because that's what, what he really was. Uh, Devin fought stupid. That's what they do when the boxer turned into the puncher and want to walk your ass down and fight and show his heart. They say he's stupid. I'm telling you, Shakur going that motherfucker trying to slug with Arthur. Oh, he fought a dumb fight. But you say you want excitement, though. You say he boring, he don't punch enough. If Shakur turned that fight into a war with Arthur, um, they're going to say he was stupid for that. Let's just say he turned that fight into a war and Autumn land a good shot and drop Shakur, but he still get up and beat him. They're going to talk about that knockdown and they're going to say Shakur was stupid. He fought a stupid fight. That's, that's all you hear about Devin. It was the style. Devin shouldn't have done that. You, you need to do what you normally do in box. You were supposed to box. Devin fought the wrong style, but he wasn't a warrior. So... Uh, you damned if you do, damned if you don't. I just hope, Devin, I hope you and Bill, I hope you don't come back trying to please fans, bro. I do want you to fight the best. I want you to be great. I want you to fight for legacy. But stop, don't go overboard to please these motherfuckers. So, it is what it is, bro. Uh, but I'm telling you right now, uh, T.O. go in there and knock out Steve Claggett, bro. They're going to act like that shit was the shit. I'm telling you, T.O. is fool. T.O. loses to Richardson Hitchens, bro. I, I bet money on that shit. Richardson Hitchens beats the fuck out of T.O. He can't cut the ring. He's going to outbox the fuck out of him. And fuck around get dropped twice. Um, Leon Paro is a good fighter. I, I can't lie. But uh, I definitely think Matias underestimated him. Um, I think he underestimated him. Um, I still think Matias is dangerous. Um, 
I would love. I I think the next fight for Matia, you should fight Regis. That's a good fight. That's a good fight. Um, Regis. That that's a good fight. Um. But like I said, just calm down, bro. Everybody just say, uh, Devin need to rematch Ryan, bro. Tio ain't got his smoke back with Sandor Martin or or uh Cambosis. You ain't you ain't get your smoke back with Jermaine OT. All these dudes that made you look horrible. You never rematched them. So, but you got the audacity to tell Devin he need to rematch Ryan. Bro, we just let bitch motherfuckers say shit. That motherfucker shouldn't even talk. That bitch shouldn't even talk. Him on his father, bro. It's amazing how many videos people can drop about Bill Haney. T.O. Sr. is the most annoying motherfucker in boxing. T.O. Sr. and T.O. Jr. are the two most annoying fake motherfuckers in boxing. And we let these motherfuckers just say any fucking thing. But when he say, you motherfucker, Bob, you can have the black fighters on you. And he just promoting the black fight. You let that shit ride. So, um, I will never fuck with T.O. It's fuck him. It's fuck your daddy. Uh, fuck you motherfuckers. I have no respect for you. So, um, it is what it is, bro. But, Ryan has definitely uh, replaced Fatback Fury as the dolphin of boxing. He got dolphin ways. He do dolphin shit. And like I say, bro, when a non-black motherfucker do dope, just like Fatback Fury, we never call him a dolphin. The boy tell you I snow powder. I drink uh, heavily. I do this. I do that. He's not a dolphin, but Spence still a drunk. But anyway, this is 903 Boxing. I am your host, Charles J. With that, I'm out.